everyone in this video we are going to see the dual converters and why the name is dual converters first of all we'll see why the name is our dual converters because we are having two converters in this first one is a rectifier another one is our inverter when we are using the two converters in one circuit that's why it's called as dual converters now we'll see how it's working first we are feeding our ac to rectifier we know if you feed ac to rectifier it converts ac to dc so here at the resistor output if you measure our voltage it will be our pulsating dc and this rectifier which is used is our controlled rectifier then this dc is fed to the inverter which converts dc to ac so we call it as ac to dc to ac conversion then we can see how this converter is useful see here we are applying our ac and we are getting dc if we use only rectifier and if we see our half part if we use our dc to ac conversion so only one thing is possible if we want to be our ac as an input and in output we want our output to be dc as well as ac for some further applications we can use this dual converter where we are feeding our input and we are getting two output one is our ac here output of inverter another one is our dc at the output of rectifier now we will see how we can implement this in matlab simulink environment now we will start designing our simulation so first of all what you have to do is we we can click here simulink library browser with this we can find our various things like from here i can take power gui select power gui add block to the model which sort you are using then our voltage measurement blocks and then i will just slide it down and what we need i will find from simscape in simscape i will go to the power system in power system i have to go to specialized technology in this fundamental blocks and then from here sources i need one voltage source then i need elements okay then what i need is i need a power electronic devices in this i need one thyristors uh, let me find various th thyristor okay i think this is thyristor no this is our thyristor and then our mosfet we need our mosfet this is our mosfet what sort we want we want one uh, pulse generator also generator also so we will take here from pulse generator and then if you need anything we can take it later on also and we can click here double screen and we can take that elements from there now i just segregate all the items and then try to connect all the together yeah so this is our power gui i'll keep it on the top then this is our voltage source i'll keep on the left hand side i need left hand side ac and then this is our thyristor and this is our voltage measurement port thyristor i will just rotate it how i want the thyristor to connect because in rectifier we know we need four thyristor like this 1 2 3 and 4 now i join this thyristors yeah i have connected it now the ac source now i need to connect the ac source this part is connected to this leg and the second part is connected to other leg and this part i'll connect in the top and side now i'll just stretch it so that it should become little clean yeah it's fine and this is our pulse generator which i'll feed one on this side and another one on this because we know if ac is fed this and this thyristor should work and if next pulse is fed this thyristor and this thyristor should work i'll feed this pulse and this pulse here now ac source i know ac source if i i need peak amplitude we know our ac rms is 230 volts rms value and that is rms we have to calculate peak value so rms is maximum by root 2 maximum by root 2 means i need maximum i need to multiply 230 230 into root 2 that comes out to be 2 325.325 volts frequency i need 50 volts i'll type here 50 and this is our part is ready and now i'll design the pulse generation so basically amplitude i need one that is fine period so this is about frequency our frequency is 50 hertz 1 by uh, 50 is becomes 0.02 so our period is 0.02 pulse width i want my part this uh, circuit should operate 50% on on and 50% should off so i'll write here 50 pulse delay so pulse delay means up, up to the after how much time in degrees 
degrees we will convert to second if you want like we have seen in rectifier we can give delays like 30 degree 45 degree 90 degrees similar that delays we can feed it here for giving that uh, firing angles so we don't want any firing angle i'll keep here uh, zero so i need our pulse generation for this part to operate after 0.01 because I know in first half cycle this thyristor and this will work in second half this thyristor and this thyristor will work that's why half cycle means 0.01 that is half of period 0.02 0.02 and this also I'll make as 50 so this part is almost ready now what I need is I need here uh, wait I will delete this RLC load because we need only RLC branch I will take here R and I will substitute the R value as 300 ohms we can put according to our ratings how much we want here we can design our RL load also if we design our RL load what we can do is if we design here RL load we have to put here one capacitor to smoothen the output waveform of AC what we are getting here so I am using here R load no need of our capacitor voltage then I will just use one voltage measurement port here for measuring the DC voltage which is coming after rectifier then this MOSFET is there okay first uh, I will try to run this part half part and uh, we will see whether it's working fine or not so here I need one scope for measurement of DC part this DC is our pulsating DC so let's run this half part if it is working fine we can progress to the next half part let's connect this to the scope yes connected so this I will just comment out so let's run this for two seconds maybe let's see what will happen I hope it will run. Yes, it's compiling. Let's wait for the compilation to take place. Okay, so that's good. It's working. Now we can see our output from scope. One minute the system is a bit slow yeah output came now let's zoom a little bit to see our pulsating beautiful waveform yes our pulsating waveform is coming that is fine now we can progress our inverter designing of our inverter now for the designing of our inverter we need our four MOSFETs to be connected in this fashion now what we will do is we will join this part like our source to drain here also source to drain now here source to source and drain to drain and then after that we will connect uh, let's make this up to the height of this and then I will connect this to rectifier input a uh, rectifier output which is the input of our inverter now this part also will connect it like this here let's make this little bit parallel now this is our output of rectifier which is fed to our inverter now I have one question that why we are using here MOSFET instead of thyristor so let's think of this matter if we use here thyristor what will happen see thyristor when we are using here what will happen is it is having self commutating property because of this AC source we know AC is going from positive to negative when it crosses our zero crossing line so it is going up to zero so means automatic turn off process is possible in thyristor whereas if we use thyristor in case of this side like in inverter side we know dc dc voltage doesn't cross through zero crossing so turn off process is not possible so we have to use our external commutation circuit to turn off these thyristors that's why we are using here mosfets now to turn on this mosfet we'll use the same logic like we used here in thyristors we will connect this to positive of this and then to this oh, one minute I will just connect it yeah I have connected this and then to the negative half we will connect this here this gate of this and gate of this part now resistor I will connect here the same resistor which I have used in rectifier side according to our applications we can change the value of resistor inductor we can use RL load motor load whatsoever we have to do as per our application we can use it now I will select here our voltage measurement so that we can measure our AC side voltage 
sorry i have connected this wrong this will be to the this side one branch and this one to the other branch what will happen if we connect one here and one here just see if we connect one here and one here it will be same as a rectifier because it will give only our half pulse so again we will get same output like a rectifier which is our dc pulsating dc now this is giving some error now we have to see what is our error basically it is saying us to make this as a discrete so that operation is possible now it will run smoothly yes it has run now we will see here output it is our ac output yes it's our ac output now what we want we have to put everything in one scope i'll select one scope here i'll go here choose our inputs of the scope i'll choose here three because i need one for input one for dc side and one for output select the screens i need the three screens now first one is for our input voltage second one is our for our dc side and third one is for our ac that is inverter output i will adjust this so that it should become little bit neat this is fine and uh, then this one also i will just make it little bit down that is fine yeah this is fine now so i will click here so that it should adjust the screen automatically scope size is little bit bigger i will make this little smaller yeah it is fine now i will run this and i will see everything under one screen let's see so this is our beautiful output waveforms in which first one is our ac second is is our pulsating dc and third one is our output of inverter so this is what we are getting from this system of dual converters thank you for watching this video